Today I want to show you how I make my leaves, different leaves and twigs. I promised this from my last video where I had taken a, a from start to finish on how I go about trying to be as saving as I can. I know I called it on my uh, video, it was how to, to oil paint for cheap. So um, anyway, I go to, to reiterate on that, I usually go to Habitat and uh, I, I look and look for canvases that you know they're selling for maybe five ten dollars now um, the canvases that I usually get if they don't have a usually if they don't have a signature on them that's the ones that I will come bring home and send down and paint over with gesso uh, but ones that has a signature on it I definitely don't do that but I love to get the frames I love to get pictures you know you've got those cheap pictures that's back in the 60s that they had they've got some nice pretty nice frames for them so I usually take buy those and bring those home and I'll paint the frames or or something but I love to take the glass out and I usually get a small one just a like this one here and um, I take the glass out and I use this glass because I use this for my palette and I take the glass I know it's a messy palette uh, and I get a, a canvas board, as you can see, this is just a canvas board, still has the silicone wrapper on it, it's got a little tear right there, but I keep that on it because it makes my um, palette kind of adhere to it and it doesn't move around. That's, that's where I get my palette, so there's like, I'm killing three birds with one stone here. So anyway, after I do that, I usually take the canvas and I get some really nice canvases also. For pretty cheap. So that's what I do. But today we're going to be using, be using some uh, canvas paper here. It's a, it's a lightweight, I guess, cardboard type. It's very thin. But I like to use these when I'm just showing techniques and things. Um, so today let's get started on these, these little leaves and twigs and what else we can come up with. I put a little medium here on my palette and I'm going to go up here into my green. Just get a little bit on my paintbrush. And I usually just take a... I'm going to show you how I do my, my rose bush leaves. So if you've just got a, uh, a little... I'm hoping you can see this. I usually take just a... This is really, really not coming out the way I want it to. Okay, so here we go with the stem coming down through here. Get a little more paint. Alright. Now I'm going to come out in this with just a little bit... Uh, little thinner for my my rose leaves so just come out with this here and one here I'm hoping you can see this. Um, I usually take the, uh, at the end of the, the brush, at the end of the stem here, I will take and make a, a pretty thick line here. And then you can just take to the side and come around. Okay. So that's the way I first do my, the first one. Okay. You can do this either, any, you can start anywhere you want to, but uh, start out with a, a fat stem here. And I make little edges to it. Then I go back with a. Okay, so here we go again. I'm gonna uh, start up here, and I'm gonna do another one, pretty flat that way, and then come back, and then do it here, and here, and bring it around. Um, this is kind of hard to do, so I mean, it's just try to show you how to do this.
let's get one down here on this. So we're going to make this out, bring this on out a little bit more here. And on that one right there, we're just going to come out to an angle, back down to that. And then we do the same thing, only upside down. Okay, and we take that and we go right, there we go, here. And over here, come back and do the same thing, here, and then go right back up that stem there. to see this so I'm going to do it just real real slow here come out with that and then I'm going to take and angle my brush and I'm going to come back to it this way underneath that one kind of make a little crease in with that one a little more crease and around do the same thing only upside down that way that way and that way. Then take that stem. And there we go. And then if you want to come in and make taper that off just a little bit, you certainly can. That's how I make my uh, rose leaves. And you can always add little uh, colors to the tops of it. Makes it uh, a little better. Okay. This is another way I love to do. Um, this, if you do it pretty fast, it works out. I'll do it fast and show you how, how I do it. Uh, so there. What I'm doing is just mashing my brush down and coming up with a point on it. And just mash the brush down and come up with a point. Mash down, come up with a, just flip it up. Mash it down, flick it up. And um, show you how I do my tropical. Excuse me. I'm gonna show you how I do my tropical leaves. Uh, so you're gonna come up to a fine little little stem here coming up. Okay. And then very very lightly, you wanna um, come from the if you if. Starting at the top, we're going to do this first one, okay? You want to mash it down, come up, and then do it real thin there at the end. Then you're going to do the same thing, really thick, and then lighten up as you come up. You can make that even as long as you like. Back down. And just kind of do a little S to it. Put them uh, 
side by side. Okay, you know, kind of space them out. Like one above the other one. Uh, you can see that one here. And then we'll do uh, this one here like this. We need one in there, but we don't, that one's exactly where that one is. So let's go up just a little bit. There. That didn't turn out as good as I would hope, so we'll go back over it and then flip it up. There we go. And okay, and the reason, the way I make my little oak leaves, these are, um, these are all so fun. So when I, I'm going to take my Twiggy brush first, I'm going to dip it in my linseed here, and roll it around really, really good into that green paint. And uh, pretty much just make a, a little twig coming up. This one's going to come up this way, go over it, and maybe um, this one's going to come up here and go over. Okay, so getting that done, I take my, uh, my angle brush and I pretty much go out here. Come back in and do it again. That's how I do my oak leaves. Now show it again over here. So just come around. One more time. So. You want to go back in with those so they won't be so like little fingers. So, that's how I make my oak leaves. And, um, uh, now, um, like the little apple blossoms, if you're making apple blossoms and the, the leaves on the, the trees for an apple blossom, it's going to be pretty much like this up here. These right here, only they're, they're bigger, so you'll take and make your brush pretty wide there, and then come out, and then do it again here. So again, there, go back around and do it again at the bottom. Here, so you can do this one here. And in here, big and fat, then go back and do the bottom part of it. Big and fat, come back and then do the bottom of it. Well, so that's how I make, um, oh, it's there, okay. Um, now I want to show you a little technique that's really cool using the, uh, 
I'm going to use my filbert brush now. And this is how uh, I've learned to make my rose buds. So I put a little, let me show you this. This is really, really cool technique. So I put a little paint, a little green paint, okay, on my on the tip end of my brush here. Well, well back a little ways on my brush. Okay. It's not sticking now. And then I go up here and I take I put it into the a little bit the tip end into a my red, and as you see, we've got green and red here. And then I'm going to come down here and I just mash it down, and there you have it. It's a little bud. Get a little more red on that. And that's just the cutest little bud. can take and just add a little green to that and come up here to the side of it and just flick a little little like that again over here You can certainly do that. So I will add a lot, put a lot of green on that. Okay, and then a lot of red on the tip. And then we're going to go over here. Taken. Make sure you've got a lot of paint on that. So now I'm going to thin it out. And then come around with the Just a little, little part of it, so you get as big as you want, just uh, however you want to do it. So there's the buds. Okay, now I want to show you how to uh, make the little twigs. You want to use that, your liner brush, your twiggies, liner, twiggy, rigger. Um, I think this started out though being called a rigger brush. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. I've got some uh, like a brown mixture here. We'll weigh it down really, really good. Roll that that brush and get as much pigment on it as you can. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and just take the like this very bottom and oops, not don't do not let up on your brush. Just get thinner and thinner as you go up. Okay, and then you can come back over here and do this again. Get as thin as you can. So as you go out, make it real thin. And again. There. There's a little bend. Where the little crook is right there. It's usually the best place to make it, to put it. It's where the curve is. You come out, and here's another one. 
hoping you can see these. I hope I'm, I'm trying my best to, to stay out of the way. But I always start up in the, where the little bend is. Which way it's going. Cool. Fun, fun, fun. And you can just keep on doing these as much as you want to. I mean, this is this is like the best best fun um, that you could ever do. So, and when you come up from the ground, if you're making little different things here, you know. Um, like little ones coming up, it's branching off of this one. This can actually be a little tree here once you get through with it, with doing this. So that's how I make my uh, my trees, my twigs, whatever. Um, you know, to put these cool little leaves on. But that's the way I. Uh, that's how I do it. There's different people does it different ways, but um, that is that's my technique. I hope you enjoyed this and stay.